Hello children, I am Monica Bajaj, your science teacher and today we will discuss about unit 2 materials. Chapter 3, clothing materials. After food, clothing is our basic need. Clothes protect us from heat, cold, rain, dust and insects. The kinds of clothes people wear varies from place to place and seasons to season. Clothes are made up of different materials. We get these materials from both plants and animals. Let us learn about how the story of clothing started. The different materials used to make clothes and how they are made. The history of clothing materials. In ancient times, people used to cover their bodies with bark and big leaves of trees or animal skins and furs. People used to just wrap these around various parts of the body in different ways. After people began to settle down in different communities and with the development of agriculture, they learned to weave twigs and grasses into mats, baskets and other utility items. They also used to twist vines, climbing plants and animals freeze, wool coat of animals or hair into long strands. These long strands were then woven into fabrics. In India, cotton was grown near the river Ganga during Harappa period. As early as 2500 BC, there are evidences showing flax leelan, a plant that gives fibers, which were used in Egypt 7000 years ago. In ancient Egypt, cotton and flax were grown near the river Nile and were used for making clothes. At that time, stretching was not known to people. They simply used to drape a big piece of cloth around them. This is how sarees worn by the women originated in India. Invention of sewing needle led to the stretching of fabric into various types of dresses, such as shirts, pants, suits, blouses and skirts. Even today, Fabrics like sari, dhoti, lungi and turban are worn as unstretched clothes. Fibers and Fabrics Any clothes made from yarn or fibers by waving, knitting or felting is called fabric. Fabrics are made of loose threads called yarn. Yarn consists of very thin stands or fibers. Types of Fibers Fibers are either natural or synthetic. See this flowchart for better understanding. Fiber is divided into two natural and synthetic fiber. Natural fiber is further divided into plant fiber and animal fiber. Whereas synthetic fiber is divided into nylon and polyester. Natural fibers. Natural fibers are obtained from fibers of animal coats, silkworm cocoons and plant seeds leaves and stems. Cotton, wool, silk, leelan and jute are natural fibers that are used for making clothes. Cotton and jute are obtained from plants while wool and silk fibers are obtained from animals. All plants have fibers in their body structure. For example, cotton and mango have fiber on their seeds. Jute plants have fiber in its stem. Banana tree has fiber in its leaf and coconut has fiber on the outer covering of its fruit. Next one is synthetic fiber. The fiber which are synthesized in industry from simple chemical obtained from petroleum are called synthetic fibers. Some plant fibers. Cotton. Cotton is the most important industrial crop. It has been grown in India for more than 3000 years. The cotton plant is a shrub. It grows well in black soil and warm climate. It needs moderate rainfall. Let's see an extra mile. Cotton is world's most important non-food or fiber crop. Cotton fabrics are soft and durable. They are good absorbent of water also. How is cotton obtained? The plant of cotton take about two and a half months after its sowing to bear white or yellowish flower. 
कॉटन इज ऑप्टेन फ्रॉम द स्मॉल ग्रीन फ्रूट कॉल कॉटन बॉल द कॉटन बॉल हैज सीड्स इन साइड विच आर सराउंडेड बाय कॉटन फाइबर्स वेन कॉटन बॉल्स आर मिच्योर दे बर्स्ट ओपन एंड एक्सपोज द रॉ कॉटन फाइबर्स कॉटन फाइबर्स आर कलेक्टेड मैनुअली सी दिस इज अ पिक्चर ऑफ कॉटन प्लांट आफ्टर दिस द फाइबर्स आर सेंड फॉर गिनिंग वे आर द फाइबर आर सेपरेटेड फ्रॉम द सीड्स दिस सेपरेशन इज ब्रॉट अबाउट विद द हेल्प ऑफ स्ट्रॉन्ग एयर करेंट द फाइबर्स आर तेंड एंड मेड इन टू लॉन्ग थ्रेड लाइक स्टैंड द फाइबर आर स्पन यूजिंग स्पिनिंग मशीन टू फॉर्म कॉटन यान द प्रोसेस ऑफ मेकिंग यान फ्रॉम फाइबर इज कॉल्ड स्पिनिंग यान इज दैन मेड इन टू कॉटन फैब्रिक्स बाय वेविंग सी दिस पिक्चर्स ऑफ स्पिनिंग एंड वेविंग लेट्स सी एन एक्स्ट्रा माइल In small scale sectors weaving is done on hand looms. Spinning was earlier done by simple hand spindle called takli on a spinning wheel called charkha. Nowadays spinning on a large scale is done by machines. The weaving process uses a loom. In a weaving the wrap thread the length way and the weft thread cross way are crossed over one another in a set method. in order to weave the required type of fabric let's see an extra mile first chinese paper was made of cotton in big industries the weaving is done on power looms uses of cotton cotton is mostly used for making cloth of various kinds towels curtains etc the blends of cotton with man made fiber such as viscose and polyester are used as dress materials cotton pads are used in hospitals cleaned and centrized cotton is used as observant in hospitals bandage is also made up of cotton thread cotton seeds left after separation of cotton balls are used to produce cotton seed oil cotton seed oil is refined and used like other vegetable oils for human consumption the dispersed cotton is used as filler in mattresses pillows and quilts cotton cloth or strands of spun cotton yarn are used in mops for cleaning floor since it is very light and a good absorbent it is mainly used for making clothes for summer next one is jute jute is one of the cheapest natural fibers Jute is the most extensively used fiber next to cotton in amount of produced and variety of uses. It is obtained from stem of plants called petson which is a 8 to 10 feet high plant. See this picture of jute plant. Let's see an extra mile. Commercially jute is the most important fiber next to cotton. It is also called golden fiber. It is a rainy season crop and grows best in warm and humid weather. Almost 85% of the world jute cultivation is done in Gangs Delta. It is cultivated in Bangladesh, China, Myanmar, Burma, Nepal, Pakistan, Thailand and India. In India, jute is mainly grown in Bihar, Assam, Odisha, Andhra Pradesh and West Bengal. Jute is world's cheapest natural fiber. It requires an ideal temperature range of 18 degrees Celsius to 33 degrees Celsius and the humidity in the range of 70% to 80% to grow well. The jute plant is normally harvested when it is at flowering stage. If the plant is allowed to mature then the fiber become very hard. The stem of the harvested plants are immersed in water for a few days. The stem rod and fibers are separated by hand. This process is called retting. The dried fibers are then tied together in small bundles to make fabrics. All these fibers are first converted into yarns. Uses of jute. Jute is said to have more than a thousand uses. Some of its important uses are It is used for making a strong packing material such as gunny bags, ropes, etc. It is used for making carpets, handbags, etc. 
It is used chiefly to make clothes for wrapping bales of raw cotton. It is used as a raw material in textile, non-textile and agricultural sector. File quantity of jute is also used for making jute fabrics. See these pictures of jute plant, jute fiber, jute made products. Some animal fiber. Silk. Silk is a natural fiber which is woven to manufacture expensive textiles. It is obtained from the cocoon of silkworm. The rearing of silkworm on a large scale for the production of silk is known as sericulture. Silkworm is reared on mulberry leaves for the production of silk. A caterpillar hatches from the egg of a silkworm. As it matures, it spines a continuous thread up to 800 meters long to make a cocoon around itself. At this stage, silkworm are killed by dipping the cocoon in boiling water. This kills the insects and loosens the cocoon. Uses of Silk Silk has many uses like the following. First, Non-absorbers such as used in surgery are manufactured from silk. Next, manufacture of textiles. Chinese doctors have used silk to make artificial arteries. Manufacture of parachutes and artillery gun power bags. Next is wool. Wool is another natural fiber obtained from hair of animals like sheep, camel and goat. Removing the wool from sheep is called shearing. After shearing the wool is cleaned and washed. The clean wool is spun into fiber. This fiber is then woven or knitted to make woolen clothes. Woolen clothes retain body heat that is why they are used in winter. Uses of wool Wool is used for various purposes. Some of the uses of wool are as follows. Making clothes for winter, making carpets, making mittens for fishermen, making quilts. See these pictures. Sharing, wool, sweater, some synthetic fibers. Nylon. It is a synthetic fiber introduced in 1938 when nylon stockings first appeared. It is quite strong yet weightless than any other commonly used fiber. Nylon fiber is smooth, non-absorbent, durable and dries quickly. It is elastic and resilient and so needs no ironing. Nylon melts at high temperature. See, this is a nylon rope. Next is polyester. It is a synthetic fiber produced chiefly by reaction of dibasic acid with diuretic alcohols. It is a strong fiber resistant crease and thus keep its shape. Polyester is strong, light and weather resistant. Development of clothing materials. On the basis of raw materials, the process of cloth making was developed in the following three stages. Stage first. During this stage, Plant fibers such as cotton, flax, nettles and inner bark of trees were used to obtain cloth. Stage 2 During this stage, fibers from animals such as wool, silk were used to obtain cloth. Stage 3 This stage begins towards the end of 19th century. During this stage, man-made or synthetic fibrous material such as nylon, rayon, polyester, etc. were used to make dress materials. During 20th century, blends of man-made fibers from plants or animals were developed. Clothes made from such blends have improved strength, resistance to wear and tear and are easy to wash. Our choice of clothing is influenced by the following factors. Climate, occupation, culture and tradition, daily needs. Reader's Digest Cloth protect us from heat, rain, cold, dust and insects. Clothing material can be natural or synthetic. Natural fiber are obtained from plants and animals. These are cotton, wool, silk, and jute. Synthetic fiber are man-made. 
and made from chemicals nylon polyester and synthetic fibers jute is obtained from the bark of the jute plants okay student we have done our chapter let's meet in our next class thank you